Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to make this cool looking retro graphic equalizer. Now, in part two, I'll show you how to add retro text effects with glittering stars and glints reminiscent of the disco days of the 1970s. Picking up from where we left off, make the top layer active and open your type tool. Choose a font. I'm using Geomancy. If you'd like to use it, you can download it directly from the link I provided in the video's description or project files. The point size is 112, the anti-aliasing method is crisp, and the text is centered. Click on the color box and pick a color. I'm using FF and four zeros. Type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. Click on the FX button and choose Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the Technique Chisel Hard, the Depth is 100%, the Direction is Down, and the Size is 5 pixels. Click Stroke. The Size is 7 pixels, the Position is Inside, the Blend Mode is Normal, and the Opacity is 100%. Click on the Color Box. I'm picking a bright yellow, F6FF00. Click Gradient Overlay. The Blend Mode is Normal and the Opacity is 45%. Click on the Gradient box to open the Gradient Editor. Click on the lower left stop and click on the color box. Pick a color for the lower part of your gradient. I'm using the same red color as before. Drag the stop to a location of 25%. Click on the lower right stop to pick up the upper part of your gradient. I'm picking black. Close the color picker and the gradient editor. Click Inner Glow and change the blend mode to normal. Make the opacity 40% and click on the color box. Choose black and make the technique precise. The source is edge. The choke is 79% and the size 14 pixels. We're ready to add some retro glints to the text. Let's collapse the text effects to make more room. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer and we'll name it Twinkles 1. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. Open your Brush Tool and click on the arrow next to the Point Size and click on the Gear icon to open your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a brush set I named Twinkle. I provided these brushes for you to download as well as the link of my tutorial on how to install them. After you've installed them, click OK to just see this set in the thumbnail window. Choose one of them and press F5 to open your brush panel. Click Brush Tip Shape and reduce the size to approximately 70 pixels and a spacing of 25%. Click Shape Dynamics and make sure everything is set to zero. At the top, choose Pen Pressure. Click Scattering. Increase the scatter to approximately 500% and then close the brush panel. Now, brush over the top of the equalizer. If you want to undo your last brush stroke, just press Ctrl or Command Z. Let's add some glints to our text. Make a new layer and name it Twinkles 2. Press F5 and click on the arrow at the upper right corner. Click Clear Brush Controls and then close the brush panel. If you want to increase the size of your brush, press the right bracket key. Click down once to make a glint. If it's too light, check to make sure the brush pressure icon is off. Continue to place star glints on your text. I'd like to make them a bit more theatrical looking, so I'll increase their lengths. Make two copies by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. We'll name the top Blur Vertical and the one below it Blur Horizontal. Make the Blur Vertical layer active and go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Make the angle 90 degrees and the distance between 170 and 200 pixels. Make the Blur Horizontal layer active. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. 
This time make the angle 0 degrees. Let's group all the twinkles and glints into a folder. Click on the top layer and go to the bottom layer and press shift and click down to highlight all the layers in between. Press Control or Command G and name it Twinkles. We're ready to add our next line of text. Open your type tool and for this word I'll choose Freestyle Script. I provided this font for you as well. The point size is 253 and the color is white. Type out your text and reposition it. To angle it press Control or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a curved double arrow rotate it counterclockwise. To reposition it just click inside the transform and move it. Then press enter or return. Reduce the fill to 0%. Click on the FX button and choose stroke. Click on the color box and pick white. Make the size 5 pixels, the position center, the blend mode is normal, and the opacity is 100%. Click Inner Glow and pick white again. Make the blend mode normal, the opacity 75%, and the size 15 pixels. Click Outer Glow and make the color white. The blend mode is screen, the opacity is 100%, and the size is 14 pixels. Next, we'll increase the glow around this text. Click on the arrow at the upper right corner and click Convert to Smart Object. Click on the FX button and choose Color Overlay. I'm typing in a bright yellow. F6 FF00. Click Outer Glow and use the same color. Make the blend mode normal, the opacity between 50 and 55 percent, and the size between 70 and 75 pixels. Drag this layer below your Twinkles folder. By doing this, you'll see more Twinkles behind the text. Have fun going back in time with this 1970s disco image complete with its own graphic equalizer thumping to the music. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.